Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's the boy Emperor Vaza back with the NBA 2K17 video. And as you guys saw in the thumbnail, today we'll be going over the James Harden dribble that I promised you guys a tutorial on in yesterday's video. This move is very important actually because you're gonna have three good ass moves out of this one specific James Harden signature style. So we're gonna go over that in today's video. If you're new to my YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It means so much to me. It helps the channel grow. And do not forget to drop a like on this YouTube video. Let's aim for about 200 likes on this YouTube video. So now right here I'm going to show you guys some clips of how it looks in in-game situations at the My Park. Now as you guys are going to see in almost every single one of these clips, I actually speed boost out of this James Harden drum move. I like this James Harden drum move just because when you do it diagonally to the left and diagonally to the right, like the escape move, gets your opponents. It just simply gets your opponents if you know how to incorporate your other moves that you already know how to do with it. Then if you do another, another move that's actually in the James Harden move, you actually get ankle breakers out of that animation. I'm going to show you all that today. So now let's get right into it. The first thing that I recommend that you guys always do, of course, go to your control settings and change your pro stick orientation to absolute. You guys already know how this goes. Change to absolute so you guys can dribble the ball so much easier to my court, my park, and my career. Take the headaches out of dribbling the ball and just go ahead and change your pro stick orientation to absolute. After you have done that, the only move that you're going to need for today's tutorial is going to be... It's going to be this between the legs size up James Harden. This is the move that you guys saw me do in those little clips right there. I told you guys I would drop a tutorial on this because it is a must have tutorial. This is a signature style that I have been using frequently right now in the past week and a half. And I just wanted to bring it to you guys. So make sure you have this one move equipped to your my player for today's tutorial. So nonetheless guys let's go to our my courts. So after you have finally arrived at your my court. This is the first animation you're going to get out of the James Harden signature style between the leg size up combo move. As you guys can see, he puts it in between his legs like James Harden does in real life, but don't don't get this fooled. This animation right here is the one that gets the ankle breakers. For some reason, you actually get a lot of ankle breakers with this animation. In order to do this animation, all you want to do is flick. If you have the ball in your right hand, flick your right analog stick diagonally to the left, and then just flick it to the right. And now the next animation, or the next move that you're going to get with this James Harden between the leg size of combo is going to be this one, the, my favorite one actually. It's going to be the size up escape. This is the one that gets everybody at the my park. I feel like after today's video, this is going to be actually really popular at the park, but I don't really care. In order to do this move, if you have the ball in your right hand, all you want to do is flick your right analog stick diagonally to the left and then diagonally to the right. If you have the ball in your left hand, flick your right analog stick diagonally to the right and then diagonally to the left. You'll be able to do this animation right here. And now for the final animation or move that you get with this between the leg size up combo, James Harden, you get this one right here. Now again, do not let these moves fool you guys. Even though they don't look that effective, you can link these in with the move that you already know how to do. These moves are really easy to link other drill moves with. But anyways, in order to do this move, if you have the ball in your right hand, flick your right analog stick diagonally to the left and then just flick it down. If you have the ball in your left hand, flick your right analog stick diagonally to the right and then just flick it down. In order to perform this animation you see right here. And as you guys can see, this is how it would look with if you incorporate it with the hop jumper, which is normal too. My favorite hop jumper in NBA 2K17. It's just deadly. It is nice. It's a nice hop jumper combo. Now right here, I, I, at the end of my videos, like I always like to do, I always mix in every single move that we go over in today's video with other moves I already know how to do. But as you guys can see right here, I am mixing in all three great James Harden moves that we went over in today's video. The behind the back, the between the legs, the size up escape, whatever it might be. It is all deadly if you know how to mix it in correctly. Keep in mind, this is coming from just one freaking signature style that I had you equipped in the beginning of the video. Just go ahead and start practicing this drill move at your my court so you can start dominating at the park. But nonetheless, guys, if you're new to my YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It means so much to me. It helps this channel grow. And do not forget to like this YouTube video. Let's try to aim for 200 likes on this YouTube video. And anyways, guys, that has been your boy, Emperor Fossa. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.